Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm getting a lot of questions on the um, Corolla forum on how to hook up amplifiers to the factory head unit in a Toyota Corolla uh, 11th Gen 2014 through I guess 18 is coming out here pretty soon. Um, anyhow, I'll, I'll start off by saying I've never pulled this radio out. I've never pulled these trim pieces off. Nothing. I was able to access the connectors in the back through the glove box drop the glove box actually just pull it out put it in the back seat whatever you can stick your hand up through this bottom corner area and you can actually reach all the way behind to the back of the stereo uh, flashlight helps behind the stereo there are a bunch of connectors but the two you're concerned with are kind of midway and they're right right about here yeah maybe right about here Anyhow, if you're patient, you can get your hand up there, squeeze the little tabs, wiggle them out, and you want just the first two. Um, then you want to take the wiring harness um, that I'll leave a link to. And so you got this one. This will go back into your factory radio. This is the reverse harness. And then you've got what you would normally buy at Best Buy or whatever. Um, although they're too expensive. So I bought these online. UniqueSupply.com, I think. Um, five or six bucks for, you know, the rear set and... I'm sorry, the reverse set and the regular set. You got your, I believe off the top of my head um, this is illumination this is memory this is power this is ground this is remote or they label it antenna but you can use it to turn on your amplifiers um, basically you're putting all these together oh, out of frame. basically you're putting all these together just one for one um, I had this tapped to feed, I think, my monitor mirror, and then I tapped this to feed the amp at one point. Uh, okay, so what's left is your left and right front speakers. I bought these from Kicker. They're just, you know speaker to RCA wire taps hook those up this is what's going to plug back into my radio now I have straight RCA's coming off of the factory head unit okay did the same thing for the rear okay straight RCA's coming off the rear now I have two connectors that go back into the factory unit. They're all butt spliced together. Probably should have soldered them, but these work just fine. So here's my RCAs. Front, rear, left, and right. Got a, I use monster RCA cables. Go all the way back to my amplifiers. Uh, as, for, as far as turn on goes, I, I believe I'm using this. And then for my amplifier, I sent the signals back, the speaker outputs off the amplifiers back, connected them to here, and then the rear. So my right off the amplifier, they all connect right into here. Kind of like that. Get your hand behind the radio, plug in this one first get that one in then this one you'll have to work because you're doing you're gonna have to kind of bend the wires and get it kind of aimed in there and then push it if that makes any sense that's if you don't want to pull the radio the wiring that you pulled out of the radio respectively is going to go into here now you've made a T harness in between your factory radio and your amplifiers and you can do whatever you want without cutting the um, 
factory wiring. That way, if you ever rip your amps out, you want to trade your car in or whatever, all you gotta do is unplug it. Plug your factory wires back in the radio, you're done. You're out of there. So, I hope this helps. Uh, I've been trying to make a video where I, it's actually informative. And I'm getting a lot of requests. You know, hey, how'd you hook up the amplifiers? Uh, in a minute, I'll take some video at the back. Keep in mind, it's a work in progress. I'm still trying to straighten it up, but it all works. Eventually, I'll get to it. Uh, while I'm on the subject, this monstrosity is... The Datalink Maestro. This will eventually all be connected to the radio <laughs> or to the wiring that comes out of the radio whenever I decide to upgrade this. Uh, but this will let me retain my backup camera, steering wheel controls, car data. Um, I can even, I think I can add a camera. Uh, these are um, front channel RCAs, but I'll have to order another harness. Like, uh, this will go to the uh, aftermarket radio harness, whatever radio I decide to finally buy. And I want to say their their colors are supposed to line up with the factory. I mean, not the factory, with the uh, aftermarket head units. So like a Kenwood or an Alpine or something like that. Haven't decided what I want yet, but I got the harness. I got the, the data link. Had other questions too from some other guys that wanted to know what the dash kit looks like for uh, our cars. Basically, that's it. And it will take over. Yeah, you, know, you don't have the controls here. You don't have the controls here. And this is pretty big. I think I measured this 8 inches diagonal. So, you'll get a good size screen. But, anyhow, matches the the outer piece here pretty good you yeah, can't really tell it's even got the the sparkly uh, metallic uh, flakes in there and that is this kit Metra 99-8245 CHG Corolla 14 and up whatever that is I want to say this is like 60 bucks. Anyhow, I'm going to pause and then I'm going to just give you an idea of what I got in the back. Had to get some extra light. Uh, so anyways, here's what I've got in the back. Um, how I got my speaker outputs back up to the front because I used this um, nine wire and yes I know it looks like crap uh, I'm still working on it still trying to find what works and make things look neat and anyhow so uh, but off the radio are my RCA cables uh, and this is my base adjust knob but here's the two left and right front and rear I actually pull the third one as a spare in case I run another um, put another amplifier although I don't think I have any room left anyhow uh, so one feeds in straight from the radio to the four channel the other feeds in straight from the radio 
to the two channel which has a pass through it comes off of here runs into here so this is actually front rear 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 feeding through and then the base mount one not power gauge one not power wire I believe those are four gauge one not ground four gauge grounds all in all not too bad I guess it's hard to mount amps in these cars there's not a whole lot of room this I'd like to find one that I could bring up this way across here and then back down I can't find one the same the right length yeah, anyhow all right I'm gonna pause it again and then uh, show you the other side of this box you can start out with this badass spoiler pasta Pizza. Yeah. I like it. Alright. Anyways. Two kicker 12 inch comp bar subs. Closure. Uh, I did change all the factory speakers out too. I have these Kenwood six and a half inch. The exact same speakers in the doors. Here I have I painted those black, put in the uh, Kenwood tweeters that came with those six inch. Both sides. And then up front. Got uh, same speakers in here. And then up here, I got kicker tweeters. And there's my base knob. I'm sure I'm going to get questions about that. That's fine with me. And uh, somebody might be curious about my lighted cup holders too. Anyways. Hope this helped you guys.